Hello boys and girls, have you ever heard of the Frog Prince? It is a fantastic story, and it's a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She had a golden ball, and it was her favorite plaything. She took it wherever she went. One day, the princess was playing in the woods near a well. She threw her ball high into the air. It fell, splash, into the well. The princess watched her golden ball sink deep into the water of the well, and she began to cry. <laughs> She cried harder and harder. Suddenly, someone said, What is the matter, princess? Why are you making so much noise? The princess looked around. She looked into a well. An ugly little frog was looking up at her. The frog asked again, what is the matter, princess? Oh, it's you, you old water splasher, princess said. My golden ball has fallen into the well. That is why I am crying. Stop crying said the frog. Maybe I can help you. What will you give me if I get your ball for you? I will give you whatever you want, dear frog, said the princess. Would you like my fine silk dress or my necklace or pearls? Or would you like my golden crown? No, said the frog. What would I do with your fine silk dress or necklace of pearls? And what would I do with your golden crown? What do you want then? The princess asked. The frog looked at the beautiful princess. He said, I want to be your friend and play me. I want to sit with you at the supper table. I want to eat with you from your golden plate and drink with you from your golden cup. I want to sleep on your fine silk pillow. If you promise to let me do these things, I will get your bowl for you. I promise, <clears throat> the princess said. She thought, how can this nasty little frog come to the castle and be my playmate? He has to stay here in his well. And she said again, I promise. Now the frog went down deep in the well. Soon he came up with a golden ball in his mouth. He threw it onto the grass. Oh, said the princess, my golden ball. She picked it up and ran away. Hooray, hooray, cried the frog. Take me with you. I can't go as fast as you. But the princess did not wait. She ran to the castle. And soon she forgot all about the poor little frog. It's not fair. The next day at supper time, the princess sat at the table with her father, the king, and the people of the court. Suddenly, everyone heard some strange noise outside. Splash, splash. Splish splash. 
It was the sound of wet little feet coming up the stairs to the castle. Then, flip flap, flip flap. There was a slippery little knock at the door. Someone called, Princess, Princess, open up. Princess, Princess, let us up. The princess ran to the door and opened it. When she saw the frog, she shut the door quickly. The princess came running back to the table. The king looked at her. Why are you afraid, daughter? He asked. Is there a giant at the door who wants to carry you off? Oh no, father, said the princess. It is not a giant. It's a nasty little frog. The princess told her father how the frog had found her ball, and she told him about her promise. I promised I would let him be my friend and playmate, she said. But I never thought he would come out of the well. Flip flap, flip flap. There was that slippery little knock again, and someone called. Princess, princess, open up. Princess, princess, let us up. Remember who brought you the ball that fell? Remember your promise by the well? You must keep your promise, daughter, said the king. Open the door and let the frog in. And so the princess had to open the door. The frog hopped in and followed her to the table. He stopped by her chair. Pick me up and put me Next to your plate, said the frog. Go ahead, the king said. Do as the frog says. You must keep your promise. The princess had... The princess had to put the frog on the table. Everyone could see that she really did not want to do it. The frog ate with the princess from the golden plate, and he drank with her from the golden cup. The frog liked his supper very much, but the princess could not eat a thing. At last, the frog said, Now I am ready to go to sleep. Carry me to your bedroom and put me on your fine silk pillow. The princess began to cry. <laughs> Stop crying, said the king. Do as the frog says. You made a promise, and you must keep it. And so the princess had to carry the frog to her bedroom. She took hold of him with two fingers, and she put him in a corner. But the frog said, I am tired. I want to go to sleep on a fine bed, just like you. Put me on your silk pillow, or I will tell your father. That made the princess very angry. 
she picked up the frog and she threw him against the wall. But when he fell to the floor, the frog was no longer a frog. Now he was a tall prince with beautiful, kind eyes, and he was smiling at the princess. A wicked witch turned me into a frog, he said. But now the spell is broken. The very next day, the prince and the princess were married. A golden coach with eight white horses drove up to the castle. The prince now took the princess to his own land, and they lived there happily forever after. The end. That is a great story. I hope you like the princess, the frog prince. Fantastic story. Do you have a little bit of time for some short reads? Um, these are all stories that we can find in our classroom library, and you can read on your own. This one is called The Best Food. It's a real quick read. The Best Food. Frog. I'm sorry. Fox, duck, and goat walk down a road. I will make the best food, boasted goat. No, I do, said duck. Fox said, let's all make something to show who is the best. I will make a roast, said Fox. I will make eggs and toast, Duck said. I will make a big bowl of oats, said Goat. The animals went to Fox's house with the food. Fox was at the door. I asked Toad to try each food, said Fox. Toad will tell us who made the best. The roast is the best, croaked Toad. So are the eggs and toast. Then Toad had some oats from the bowl. These oats are wonderful, he croaked. The animals all looked at Toad. Would he tell them who made the best dinner? Toad croaked. Fox made the best roast. Duck made the best eggs and toast. Goat made the best oats. We are all the best, they said. Let's share our food. Fox said, how kind of Toad to tell us we are all the best. Real quick read, right? You have the independent reading. You know, you want to keep building your stamina and you can do these real quick readers. I am a leaf. Another real quick read. Hi, I'm a leaf. I live on a maple tree. See the ladybug? She's crawling on me. It tickles. Many leaves live in my tree. We have a summer job. We make tree food. We make it from air and sunlight. Mmm, that sun feels good. We also need water to make tree food. Rainwater goes into the soil. It goes into the tree's roots. It goes up the tree. It flows into my veins. My veins are like little pipes. I mix sunlight, air, and water. Then I add something green. It's called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is green. It makes me green. All summer long, I have made tree food. Once a caterpillar came by, nibble, nibble, nibble. It ate a little hole in me, but I still did my job. Once a busy spider came by, busy, busy, busy. It made a big web, but I still did my job. Once a squirrel jumped on me, boing, boing, boing. It ran over me, but I still did my job. Now fall has come. My work is over. My green goes away. Now I am red, yellow, orange. It's party time. 
All the leaves of my trees are turning colors. People, ooh, and ah. The wind blows. We break away. We dance with the wind. We gently we land on the ground. We rest. Winter has come. The forest is white with snow. Some trees stay green. They are cold evergreens. Slowly, leaves turn into soil. The soil holds roots. The soil holds water. The soil holds animals sleeping in dens. Winter is over. The soil warms. Hi, I'm a baby leaf. Spring is here. I'm the first bud to sprout in my tree. I'm growing fast. Soon I'll get a job. What will it be? Mmm, the sun feels good. More about leaves. Leaves come in many sizes and shapes. Most leaves make food for their plants, which leaves are good for people to eat. Salad leaves and spinach leaves. I am a leaf. Hope you enjoyed the stories today, boys and girls. See you soon.